time of year is so wonderful, but it's also a time when many of us are stressed out. You know, Christmas cooking, wrapping all the presents, uh, but imagine cooking for hundreds of people. The Seoul Spocker Center is preparing to serve hundreds of homeless and less fortunate folks tomorrow. On your side, Jocelyn Howard shows us how they pull it off. We are hours away from Christmas and Soulsbacher's volunteers are already preparing meals for tomorrow. For breakfast, they're expecting over 800 people. It's just always nice to know that you can put a smile on other people's faces, especially when you can put a smile on seven to 800 people's faces. That makes it much more rewarding. Sous chef Damien Johnson is responsible for directing volunteers for a successful Christmas feast for needy men, women, and children. Eggs, pancakes. 1,600 pancakes, 2,000 slices of bacon, mounds of hash browns, 800 sausage patties, and that's only the beginning. Four cases of chicken at 40 pounds apiece. Soulsbacher's job doesn't end at breakfast. There's still lunch and dinner to be served. We're having leg quarters and we're having uh, dressing and collard greens and peach cobbler. So I'm just getting it ready so we can just bake it off tomorrow. 160 pounds of chicken, 20 peach cobblers. And for Amethyst James, that's only the beginning. She, just like many other volunteers, have Christmas dinners to prepare for their own families. I'm baking carrot cakes and pound cakes and cookies. <laughs> Although all of this cooking may bring some stress, these volunteers say it's worth every minute. I love the cooking part, but when you hand them their plate and they're happy, they see how full the plate is and they're sitting down there enjoying it, that's the pet best part, just seeing people enjoying your food. Jocelyn Howard, First Coast News, on your side.